After the Australian Captain Smith, now the Vice Captain Warner apologized during a press conference in Sydney. To my teammates and support staff, I apologize for my actions and I take full responsibility for my part on what happened in day three in the Newlands test. I apologize unreservedly for my part in this and I'm sorry. I brought the game into disrepute on your soil. South Africa is a fine cricketing nation and deserves better from its guests and deserve better from me. To all Australians, whether you're a cricket fan or not, I apologise for my actions. And I'm sorry for the impact those actions have had on our country's reputation. I can honestly say I've only ever wanted to bring glory to my country through playing cricket. In striving to do so, I've made a decision which has had the opposite effect and it's one that I'll regret for as long as I live. I do realise that I'm responsible for my own actions. It is hard to know what comes next, but first and foremost, is it what? Is the well-being of my family. In the back of my mind, I suppose there is a tiny ray of hope. That I may one day be given the privilege of playing for my country again. But I'm, re I'm resigned to the fact that that may never happen. But in the coming weeks and months, I'm going to look at how this has happened and who I am as a man. To be honest, I'm not sure right now how I'll do this. I will seek out advice and expertise to help me make serious changes. I want to apologise to my family. Especially my wife and daughters. Your love means your love means more than anything to me. I know I would not be anything without you. I'm very sorry for putting you through this, and I promise you that I'll never put you in this position again. Before I take questions, I want to again say thank you. I take full responsibility for my part in what happened and I'm deeply sorry for the consequences of what I was involved in. I failed in my responsibilities as Vice Captain of the Australian Cricket Team.